This dramatic reconstruction is based on a true story. It highlights the isolation of the remote islands in eastern Indonesia where even basic medical services are almost non-existent. Thanks to our friends and sponsors, Vega now provides comprehensive medical kits to many of these remote island communities. In 2012, thanks to the generosity of our friends and sponsors, Vega distributed 100 of these comprehensive kits over a region of 420,000 square miles. The five months it takes to gather these supplies is only the beginning. Sorting all of the components into these kits is an enormous job requiring a lot of volunteers who often work long hours into the night. Our second stop was Dili, East Timor where Vega supports the Barrio Pite Free Clinic and Dr. Ida Gonzalez's training for traditional medicine. Hello, my name is Ida. I'm one of the doctors here in East Timor. Uh, our project is focusing on maternal and child health. And this kit means a lot to us because we are the only NGO in East Timor that is doing project on maternal and child health in training the lay midwives. One of the reasons why we do this project because uh, the number of uh, maternal and child mortality here in East Timor is the highest one in the Asian region. We have to do it this way because each one of these bags is about 20 kilos each. In 2012, Indonesian doctor Ruth Indira volunteered to join Vega's crew. She spent four intense months providing training for traditional midwives and holding clinics along our route. Eki formally introduced Dr. Ruth and Meggie to the islanders, 
and announced that Dr. Ruth would be holding clinic after the service. Here, Maggie is handing out toothbrushes to the children. Dr. Ruth was often the first real doctor to set foot on these small islands. Her Sunday clinics were a major community event. On this day, almost 80 patients came for free consultation and treatment. Even during those clinics, Dr. Ruth never stopped teaching. Here, she is instructing the island's health worker, Pa Eki, in the proper way to use a blood pressure cuff. Training for traditional midwives is an important part of Vega's program. Here, Dr. Ruth explains the use of a fetal Doppler heartbeat monitor, an important piece of equipment that was in each and every midwife kit. This training workshop for traditional midwives in the Banda Archipelago was an amazing success. 17 traditional midwives, representing each of the islands, came to receive training. After successfully completing that training, each midwife received a certificate and a complete comprehensive midwife kit. It's a banana break. <laughs>